Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, History of Russia, Part 2, Epic History TV. I decided to make a little bit of rum and coke. It sounded good. Let's see if I mixed it good. It's a Sam's Club spiced rum. I'm more of a fan of Parrot Bay. I like a good coconut rum. I like a good, um, I like the coconut rum more. But, um, really, they make good rum, period. I drink more rum than anything. What are you doing? You little garbage eater? So, this is happening. We're going to go ahead and watch Epic History TV Part or no, History of Russia Part 2 from Epic History TV. These haven't kicked in yet. I'm just stupid. Uh, like and subscribe, and um, you'll win a PlayStation 5 that you purchase for yourself, and then just give me the credit for it. And now uh, we start the video. In 1612, Russia was in a state of anarchy. They called it the Time of Troubles. The people were terrorized by war, famine and plague. Up to a third of them perished. Foreign troops occupied Moscow, Smolensk and Novgorod. But then Russia fought back. Prince Pozharsky. Um, so question. Are, are all these still, I don't want to say tribes, but are they all different groups of Russian? Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not drunk, I swear. I just don't know how to word it properly. I'm not good with worms. And a merchant... Kuzma Minin led the Russian militia to Moscow and threw out the Polish garrison. Since 2005, this event has been commemorated every 4th of November as Russian National Unity Day. I know that name. The Russian Assembly, the Zemsky Sabor, realized the country had to unite behind a new ruler and elected a 16-year-old noble, Mikhail Romanov, as the next Tsar. His dynasty would rule Russia for the next 300 years. Tsar Mikhail exchanged territory for peace, winning Russia much-needed breathing space. His son, Tsar Alexei, implemented a new legal code, the Sabornoya Ulugenya. It turned all Russian peasants, 80% of the population, into serfs, effectively slaves, their status inherited by their children and with no freedom to travel or choose their master. It was a system that dominated Russian rural life for the next 200 years kind of similar to slavery here in America. The head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Nikon, imposed religious reforms that split the church between reformers and old believers. It's a schism that continues to this day. Ukrainian Cossacks, rebelling against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, recognized Tsar Alexei as overlord, in exchange for his military support. It led to the Thirteen Years' War between Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Russia emerged victorious, reclaiming Smolensk and taking control of eastern Ukraine. A revolt against Tsarist government, led by a renegade Cossack, Stenka Razin, brought anarchy to southern Russia. It was finally suppressed. 
Razin was brought to Moscow and executed by quartering. The sickly but highly educated Fyodor III passed many reforms. He abolished Mesnichestva, the system that had awarded government posts according to nobility rather than merit, and symbolically burned the ancient books of rank. Wow. But Fyodor died aged just 19. His sister Sofia became princess regent, ruling on behalf of her younger brothers, the joint Tsars Ivan V and Peter I. After centuries of conflict, Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth signed a Treaty of Eternal Peace. Russia then joined the Holy League in its war against the Ottoman Empire. Sofia's reign also saw the first treaty between Russia and China, establishing the frontier between the two states. Okay, so that Peter, that was Peter the Great. At age 17, Peter I seized power from his half-sister Sophia. Peter became the first Russian ruler to travel abroad. He toured Europe with his grand embassy, seeking allies for Russia's war against Turkey, and learning the latest developments in science and shipbuilding. The war against Turkey was successfully concluded by the Treaty of Constantinople. Russia gained Azov from Turkey's ally, the Crimean Khanate, and with it, a foothold on the Black Sea. Peter made many reforms, seeking to turn Russia into a modern European state. He demanded Russian nobles dress and behave like Europeans. He made those who refused to shave pay a beard tax. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. Peter built the first Russian navy, reformed the army and government, and promoted industry, trade, and education. Wow. In the Great Northern War, Russia, Poland, Lithuania, and Denmark took on the dominant power in the Baltic, Sweden. The war began badly for Russia with a disastrous defeat to Charles XII of Sweden at Narva. But Russia won a second Battle of Narva, before crushing Charles XII's army at the Battle of Poltava. On the Baltic coast, Peter completed construction of a new capital, St. Petersburg. The building of what would become Russia's second largest city among coastal marshes was a remarkable achievement, though it cost the lives of many thousands of serfs. The Great Northern War ended with the Treaty of Neustadt. Russia's gains at Sweden's expense made it the new dominant Baltic power. Four years before his death, Peter was declared Peter the Great, father of his country, emperor of all the Russias. I'm just going by what he says, because I don't know much else. Peter the Great, seems like the name fit. Good dude, transforming everything, trying to make it modern. That's, that's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good person to, to look back and say, yeah, he, he was, he was somebody that, uh, you know, led the country. So that's, the name seems to fit, not the Peter part, the great. Peter was succeeded by his wife, Catherine. Then his grandson, Peter II, who died of smallpox, aged just 14. Empress Anna Yanavna, daughter of Peter the Great's half-brother, Ivan V, was famed for her decadence and the influence of her German lover, Ernst Biron. Ernst Biron. During Anna's reign, Vitus Bering, a Danish explorer in Russian service, led the first expedition to chart the coast of Alaska. 
He also discovered the Aleutian Islands, and later gave his name to the sea that separates Russia and America. After Anna's death, her infant grandnephew Ivan VI was deposed by Peter the Great's daughter Elizabeth. Ivan VI spent his entire life in captivity, until, age 23, he was murdered by his guards during a failed rescue attempt. Damn! Elizabeth, meanwhile, was famed for her vanity, extravagance, and many young lovers. <laughs> but she was also capable of decisive leadership. In alliance with France and Austria, Elizabeth led Russia into the Seven Years' War against Frederick the Great of Prussia. The Russian army in... Anyone from Russia watching, I'm sure everyone knows Seven Years' War in America. We started that war, you're welcome, George Washington, but we call it the French and Indian War. But Seven Years' War for the reason for starting, in case you don't know, um, we sent the, the Brit, we the, being the British at the time, sent an expedition up to Fort Fort Duquesne, which was present-day Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Sent a a group up there basically going to tell the French they had to leave because this was British territory. On the way there, met up with some native, uh, one of the tribes, met up with a half king who ran this tribe. The half king said that there was French group that were out like looking for, for George Washington and his scouting party and led him there. Don't exactly know what happened, but the half king may have convinced Washington and his people to open fire, and they shot a bunch. Uh, by the time they realized what was happening, the French like leader had been shot. I think he was killed, and, and the second command was pleading. Washington's trying to get things sorted out. Half king just comes up behind. This guy pulls out his tomahawk, and you pretty much know where he's going to plant it. And George Washington ended up spending some time trying to change what happened from a basically a sneak attack to no, 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 they they. We were going to go into war because, you know, war back then was gentleman war. No, 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 we were totally, we were squaring up to, to have a war. And he, he didn't want to say what the half king had done and, and kind of made him, kind of conned him into this, this battle. And um, from there you got, the, now I'm probably remembering it about 90% accurate. But from there you have the start of what we called the French and Indian War, which later became, as Winston Churchill said, <laughs> Winston Churchill said, um, was the true first world war that ever happened, which became the Seven Years' War. Why we always call it the French and Indian War, yeah. I mean, I understand why we call it the French and Indian War, World Cup was Seven Years' War. I don't know why we don't just adopt that Seven Years' War. I'm sorry. Anyways, just if any Russians or Sweden or anybody who, you know, wants to get mad because their grandfather died in that war, well, I'm just explaining it to you. Apologies. I'm going to have a rum and coke again. Inflicted a crushing defeat on Frederick at the Battle of Kunersdorf, but failed to exploit its victory. Meanwhile, in St. Petersburg, the Winter Palace was completed at vast expense. It would remain the monarch's official residence right up until the Russian Revolution of 1917. Okay. Peter III was... And the Russian Revolution, 1917, that was when Russia pulled out of World War I, I believe, and then they had their civil war if... Um... <laughs> this is going to be weird, but if I say Panda told me that, please understand I'm referring to the person in the comments, I'm not just referring to an animal I had a conversation with. 
Apologies. Peter the Great's grandson by his elder daughter Anna Petrovna, who died as a consequence of childbirth. Raised in Denmark, Peter spoke hardly any Russian, and greatly admired Russia's enemy, Frederick the Great. Oh. So he had Russia swap sides in the Seven Years' War, saving Frederick from almost certain defeat. Peter's actions angered many army officers, and he'd always been despised by his German wife Catherine. Together they deposed Peter III, who died a week later in suspicious circumstances. His wife Catherine became Empress of Russia. Her reign would be remembered as one of Russia's most glorious. Really? Epic History TV oh. depends on donation. Man, I was just getting, I was just curious as to how it was glorious. Now I'm trying to think what her name was. Oh, was it Catherine the Great? Sorry, I have a dog fluffing up a blanket. And then as she fluffed it up to sit on it, she just walked off it and sat next to it. And then she's just looking at me like I'm the asshole. Now she's back to fluffing. Before we end this, I gotta kill this. I think it's only like 30 or 35 percent alcohol. It's it's the uh, Sam's Club members mark spiced rum, big old bottle of it for like 13 bucks. I really wish I had coconut rum, but it's doing the same job coconut rum would do. If you've never had coconut rum and you like rum, I highly recommend it. It is delicious. There's other flavors from Parrot Bay. Um, they have a uh, they have a lemon lime, which is very 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 tasty with a uh, like a sprite, um, sugar free sprite, obviously. Um, you know stuff like that. It's, it, they got some really good flavors there, so you should enjoy it. Well, I'm gonna end this here. I, I think I, I'm gonna. I want to jump back into part three. I want to make another damn rum and coke and jump into part three. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go make another rum and coke. I'm not gonna stand up now because I'm just. I'm just in. Um, I'm just in. In underwear, in boxers. You don't want to. <laughs> But, oh Jesus, I'm so sorry. I got things coming out of me. The Lord's coming out of me. So I'm gonna go make another rum and coke. And Daddy's gonna make a rum and coke and watch another video. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, if you like this, I d I didn't think World War One was gonna be much it didn't look like it was going to be off much but i'm i'm just getting some views so i'm 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 glad that other people are appreciating it as much as i am i i think it's it's really cool to learn stuff i know some people may not like it but hey look every now and then you gotta learn something so anyways i'm gonna end this video here have a good day have a good night